All right, here we are again. Here comes the boxes. I can hear them. Anyways, um, time for another unboxing. Hi, Boxer. There's a brown boxer. The stars of the show. Woo so anyway, um, time for another unboxing. Check this out. Yeah. Birthday cigars. Hell yeah. So this is what I got. I got some uh, knockoffs made by Cigars International. That's where this order came from. So I'm going to plug them. I've always gotten decent cigars and good prices from them. And the service is quick. I always get the cigars quick. So I don't mind plugging them. I'm not paid by them, just so everybody knows. But anyways, um, got my order in for my birthday order. So I had to treat myself to some cigars. So here we go. Let's check this out. And some whiskey, of course. Check this out. This is some Maker's Mark. This is pretty good stuff. It's not top of the line. I would say it's more like middle of the line, but it's still good. I still like it. So every now and then I grab a bottle of Maker's and throw it in the mix. It's got a sweeter flavor, which is sometimes good if you're just like, um, I've been mixing it. Oh, and I've been mixing it with this other stuff. Let me show you guys. This is badass. Where is it? I kept the can just to show you guys. So this is Bai or Bahi. I call it Bahi, but people tell me that's not right, so I don't give a damn. That's what I'm going to call it. And this is Koala Cola, and it's got five calories per can, and it has no processed sugar. It has like stevia and erythritol, which is um, an alcohol sugar, if I said it right. And if I didn't, don't correct me. That's kind of ridiculous. So, but I usually I'll make a drink with this, and then I'll make some makers, and then a little bit of lime and a glass with some ice. And throw some cola on it, yeah, and then use the use the good key lime. <laughs> Both the boxes are hot. Well, it's too hot in here, Dad. It's hot outside. So I use this stuff right here. Let me show you guys this. This is called Nellie and Joe's Famous Key West Lime Juice. So I use that because that way I don't have to. The only thing I think that's in it before um, Key West Lime Juice and sodium benzoate for. Uh, preservative. I have to look that up because I don't know what the hell that is. But I also get this other lime juice, this Santa Cruz lime juice. Organic, or lemon juice I should say. This is really good stuff too. You could mix that in there too. And that is just 100% lemon juice. So let's check this out. Oh, and then I, uh, I'm making some concoctions here. And this is basically some Everclear with some simple syrup. And then I got peaches in one. And then I got watermelon in that one. And then watermelon in that one. So I'm going to give that to a buddy because that has some old school sugar in it that I used. And I haven't been taking any of that anymore. I've been changing things up. So Maker's Mark, a little bit of lime and a little bit of this Koala Cola if you can find it. This stuff is good. It almost tastes reminiscent of the um, Red Bull Cola. But a little bit better. It doesn't have the, any of the aftertaste. So let's go through here and see what we got. Do a little quick review on this. So these if I remember right, are supposed to simulate um, one of the high-end super premiums. Let me see which ones, because I ordered a couple, but the other ones in here didn't get here yet. So let me see that before I pull this out. I want to say, uh, let me see, compare to Monte Cristo. So if you guys don't know what Monte Cristos are, Monte Cristos are one of the super premium cigars. The white labels are awesome. And so I tried this because it's what they had in stock and I didn't want to pay 200 300 bucks for a bundle of Monte Cristos smoked one today awesome nice flavor kind of woodsy not too much sweet in it and then let's see what else I got here I got some Rocky Patella Platinums two pack of these these are awesome they had these on sale for two for five and what I do is I usually try to find samplers or I buy my stuff on special because cigars are super expensive but I usually I manage to get my cigar prices down to about two dollars and fifty cents a stick which is phenomenal since i can get some of the better stuff now this is this is a super premium gray cliff if you guys haven't had a gray cliff go get one these are so good they're like one of the best cigars out there i think personally in my opinion and uh, i got this on they have this on a sampler you can see that it's five different cigars for each making up 20 in the bundle and these are fucking phenomenal then I got some of these guys right here, which is a mix of highly rated premiums. And uh, you can see Rocky Patel in there, two different kinds. You can see, oh, this, you know what? This looks like a whole mix of Rocky Patel. 
could be. Yeah, all highly rated. And this is a sampler too. So don't be afraid to go after the samplers because you can get some good quality cigars in there. And then, like, say you try one and you don't like it, then you can always give it out to your buddies and they'd appreciate it too. Or, you know, trade them out for stuff. That's always a good thing to do. Cigars are expensive. If you go to a shop, man, you're going to pay. These are like 15 to 25 bucks a piece for this for these sticks right here so don't go to a shop man order online if you can find a good place like I said I like cigars international and there's a couple other that I like cigars international I ordered from another shop I can't remember which shop it was it might have been famous I don't know but I got cigars and they were dried out which suggests they had them in stock for a long time and they weren't um, properly humidifying them so that's a problem you start smoking it and then it starts crumbling the wrapper comes off and it pisses you off because you pay like I said a lot for cigars and that's an enjoyment type of deal and so if they're sending you products it's just like anything it needs to get there and it needs to be in the right condition when it gets there so the, I smoked one of these today perfectly humidified was nice and then let's see what else I got in here I got some car keys all right those are mine so nothing that somebody forgot in there huh. and then I got these which I haven't had so I got these KO island life so these are a flavored one so um i wouldn't say flavored maybe infused and then so i'm going to try these and i'm going to try all these different ones and i'm going to give you guys a review a proper review on each and every one i think and tell you guys what they're like if that's what you're looking for i'm going to do it anyway whether you like it or not you're just going to have to listen or tune me out <laughs> so yeah that's about it and here's all the stuff they're trying to get you to buy Macanudos for the Rothschild 68 Rothschild. That's good. 59 bucks. Yeah, that's a good deal right there. 90 rated. Might have to be ordering some more. Damn it. That's how they get you. So, anyways, life's too short to not enjoy good cigars. Don't be buying the machine made. These are all handmade. Good stuff. The tax is mainly what you're paying because uh, they can't ever freaking get in, stop getting in our pockets. So, but um, if you enjoy good cigars, man, check these out, and then I'll keep bringing you reviews. Like I said, these will mix perfectly with the Maker's Mark. And if you like the flavored drinks, that's a good way to go, just something simple. Just a little bit of cola and uh, a little bit of lime or lemon with your whiskey in a short glass. Awesome. All right. Made a long video out of a short one. Bye!